try and keep the layer as clean as you go. Take us to it. I like, I like razor blades, they're horrible things. Right. Three quarter inch hole through there. Now we need to bore it out the core size for the thread. We'll measure. One point three five. One point three six. One point four. Three, three things here, they're all, it's all generating box fed here, um, the size I'm getting is 1.350. So I want that hole through there, 1.350. Okay. Boring tool. I bought a set of tools, uh, they all use the same tips, excellent good value. Right, we need to bore in 1.250 inch and a quarter. Make sure the compound slides in the middle. Right, boring tools touching the job. We're going to measure along inch and a quarter. Put a mark with a sharpie, inch and a quarter. Put the stop on there. I've got that set, it's just on that inch and a quarter. So I can bore out to there, then I can measure my depth with a vernier and I can adjust it on the top slide to give it the last fuel fill. So I can bore it to there quite merrily, I know I won't go too deep. Inch and a quarter. Might as well use the power feed. Make sure before you engage that power feed, the carriage is well away from the job, then you won't get any nasty surprises. Run the wrong direction. I'll speed that up a bit as well. Fast up. That's better. I've changed the boring tool, different type of tool in. I wasn't very happy with the finish I was getting. This tool is actually one of the set. Uh, they're going with boring here for the miller machine. I made a world up for them, that good for boring tools. Fed up. I'm 
Richard. One one point two. Couple of thousand now one point two. And we'll need one point three five oh. So that's still a hundred and fifty thousand to come out of it. Starting to get near now. I want 1.35 up and we're at 1.32 up. 15 thousandths of an inch to count it. 15 thousand. Take a 5 thousand cut. I'm going to creep up on this gently. finishing there. One point three four or spot on. 1.350. Yes. We know what depth is. What we've got to do now, we've got to machine the register in the end that fits on the it fits on the register on the on the lathe spindle. We'll also have to machine a recess inside of there for the threading tool to run into. Because uh, I basically my screw cutting into a blind hole. Right, the recess has to be 450 thousandths of an inch deep. So what we'll do, the tool's touching the end of the job, we'll fetch our stop up, stop touching the carriage, we'll lock it up. Carriage is hitting the stop, tool touching the job. Zero, zero compound slide. One, two, three, four hundred and fifty thou. So now that's what four fifty there. And it is 450. Within, within a thou or two, it's not that critical. I measured me so many chucks or 380, one of them's actually got half an inch of a recess. So it's, I'm taking an average of 450. This is where it gets important. We must get this bore size right. Shorten it down, we don't need all that sticking out. So let's reset all the reset me stop. And basically I've got a nice shoulder in there now so I can I can just machine up to that.
count as zero. Ten so cut. One point four eight zero getting here. Gauge. <coughs> that, that's it, there's 10 thou on that size. Once I can get that to go in, we can start uh, measuring again. 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 thou out of it. That's how it goes in. What I'll do, I'll take it like I'll take it like cut without just anything. Yeah, it's still cutting. Not much, but it is cutting. You watch our temperature. It's warm, which means it'll get smaller when it cools down. This is the time you'll have a cigarette when it's cooling down. So for a cup of coffee. According to this, that's still two thousand to go. We know a small gauge goes in, big one doesn't. The difference between that going in and not going in is very, very slight. I'm going to make a cup of coffee, let it cool down. Right, it's cooled down. I'll take another cut without adjusting anything. Still cutting, very, very slightly, but it is still cutting. It is still very, very slightly warm, so it will shrink a little bit. What we need now, we need a recess in here for the scroll cutting tool to run into. I found this tool that gives a nice square shoulder on the hole. What it is, it's actually a, it's a broken milling cutter, quarter inch milling cutter, I've broke loads of them. It's just simply setting over the ball, the set screw on the end. Now well you can see that. Well, there's a nice sort of recess in there from your screw cutting tool to finish off in. Right, hot oh, oh, on now, there's some threads in there so that'll screw in. I've got a tool here. It's a commercial tool, a tip tool. It's been broken and reground. I've tried it in there. It's excellent. I've had a thread gauge on it. It's, it is, it's, the, it's the right tool for the job. So we'll get this mounted on centre height and I'll show you how to set up the compound slide to cut the thread. Right, I've got a protractor set up here and I've got the compound slide set to 29 degrees. 
that we are verified that angle is right, if you look at the tip of the tool here, the tool roller at the minute is square to the compound slide, and the angle the tool's making there, that angle there is square to the headstock. That angle there is just 90 degrees to that. It's parallel to that. Obviously, when we come to cut the thread, we'll be turning that in so that's lined up. Dead square of the job. We'll be putting the feed on with a compound, just cutting on one side. It'll all become clear as mud once we make a start. This lid's fitted with a gear box, so I can basically cut any, any imperial thread I want out of most metrics. There's a chart on here that tells you where to put the levers, 48 threads to the inch. That one's on A, on 8, and that one's on here. That'll cut 8 threads to the inch. Obviously, depending on what gears you have in the back of here. It tells you on the chart, 8 threads to the inch, you need a 20, 22 stud gear, which is that one, and a 56 there. I know that's a 20, I know that's a 56. The last thread I cut on this was 8 threads to the inch when I did when I did the lead screw for the mill machine. I'll start the way so you can see it all, all mincing about. That's the best stuff for the gas, chain loop, with a big chain loop. Messy, but it does the job. One or two oil pounds are quite important. The tool must be square to the job. To set it up, use a thread setting gauge. Now, well, you can see that. I've got the gearbox set up to cut each thread to the inch. I'm going to check it. Here, first of the inch. Yeah, I know the change wheels are right. The tool is dead on centre height. The compound slide set to 29 degrees, half the angle of the thread. I've adjusted it. My cross slide's on zero, it's just touching. My compound slide's on zero. What I'll be doing, I'll be putting the feed on with a compound slide and then turning the cross slide in one full turn to clear it. I'm not going to reverse the lathe, I'm going to do it properly. I'll use the thread down indicator. So everything's ready to go, we'll wind it away from the job, start the lathe up. It's running as slow as it's in, it's in slow back gear, back, it's in bottom gear, back gear, nice and slow. And then gears the nut, everything's running the right way. It's no good having it somewhere inside the job and then gears in the nut and finding it things run the wrong way. There's a thread down indicator. I think you can drop it in anywhere cutting this eight threads to the inch but what I'm going to do I'm going to start it in the same place every time. I'm going to start it on one. I'm listening to it. It ran off the end there so I know Roughly where I've got to stop it. So the procedure on there is turn that in one full turn. When you back out, out one full turn. Get back to where you started from. You put the cut on with a compound. I'm going to put a five thumb cut on. I'm watching for this coming round. Start in the same place again, which was one. <laughs> 